looks like there is definitely some stuff worth going after. of wire and shred material. Oh, so much of it. I really wish that box stayed up right now. Go through this layer. Some copper bits. These other little bits are often brass. I'm not gonna film all this. It is going to just be a bunch of little stuff like this. So I'm gonna start ripping through this pile and fill up as many boxes as I can, but there's probably, I mean, that there's 20 something pounds. So I'll go after the rest of this. It's definitely worth my time. All right, so I've already looked at it and there is a lot of stuff, a lot of lighting. So I'm gonna get set up here and start working on this. Got the truck over there, so I'll try to hit this pretty hard. Okay, so I'm not gonna even bother with potentially even selling any of this stuff. I just don't have the time. Turn this on too, because it's dark inside the boxes. I'm just going to recover aluminum and shred. Boxes like this, I'll keep. I don't know if that's light bulbs or if it is too bad. <laughs> That's aluminum, that's nice. Yeah, I just don't... I don't know what to do about that. Rattling. I'll just take that. So I don't I know what's in the boxes, but... a little bit and these are nice fixtures but yeah I just sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do and 
I've got way too much stuff to resell. To worry about stuff like this. I mean, there's a ton of them though. Look at them all. Alright. Let me see. You can hear people yelling at the screen. I mean, I have no idea why there's so many loose ones. Probably gonna end up being banged up. All right, so this is full of hardware. I know, I'm moving to the place. Maybe that wasn't it. <laughs> Just sounded like it shattered. Look at 
some of this bigger cardboard out of the way. Look at, holy cow. All right, yeah, I gotta deal with that. is about to go. Yeah, I think, I see these are dirty. Those can't be resold. shot. So this stuff literally takes hours to take apart to micro scrap. In the end it's worth it, but to get the most money out of it you really do gotta Get after this stuff. Cut the wires off, separate the fares from the non fares. out of an avalanche. I don't know if these guys are moving out or just cleaning house for the new year.
should have a box to put the smaller stuff in. Okay, so this appears to be Mostly ceiling fan. I don't want to unpackage it, but I'm not going to try to resell that. Yeah, salvage parts. Okay, we are down to the bottom. I don't need any of that stuff. That okay? I'm going to get out, get this stuff, and then uh, grab all the rest. that for small bits. This stuff is LED strip, so that is not something the scrap yard's going to want. Not dealing with it. So, underneath all the strip lighting, that's got an aluminum housing. So this is what it looks like in the back. Quite a mess, gonna be a ton to go through, and I'll secure all that down before I get on any major roads. So let's continue to hit this area before I straighten it up. All right, so for this one, garage door dumpster, this super long one is still in the packaging. I think there's two there. There's another panel here. I'm not gonna try to film this because the lighting is gonna be horrible with the uh, light that I do have. But I'm gonna dig through this. There's a lot of trash to also go through. The ones with the windows, I'm not gonna worry about. Someone mentioned knocking the windows out, but I just, I don't wanna deal with it if I don't need to. Um, if I'm desperate, then maybe. But for now, I think these panels are gonna be enough. My truck is full of all of that lighting. And yeah, I just, I don't wanna deal with broken glass. So let me um, get at this and I'll show you tomorrow what I ended up getting. There's also, some track that I can get to. So I really want this metal track as well. Um, that's another door. I don't know if that one has a window, but yeah, I'm gonna be here a little bit, I think. So I don't know how much you can actually see with this light, but as you can tell, I'm making quite the dent. Still not taking these with the windows in them, but I found others below them. I just found this aluminum extrusion. And that is in here with more of these uh, garage door roll guards. So I'm trying to get those out right now. And uh, it's been a struggle the whole way, but I'm gonna load up what I can. All right, so struck out on a few after the garage doors. I did see that sticking up. Battery died on me there. So 
Yeah, I know this is awesome plywood. Actually, it's really nice plywood, but I just don't have anywhere to put it. It doesn't sell well, so I'm not taking it. Um, so I got this here. another one and we've got this thing here so this box is nice that is got some look at all that number one got conduit this stuff is just plastic sorry I gotta do this one-handed because uh, easier that way with the light that all of that yeah I don't know how much is in there. quite a bit there is a lot of number one and there's stuff in side boxes, so that's just plastic. I will just take the rest of this. It's a nice surprise. Got a picture here. These are the things he was throwing out the last time I was here. Saw some metal under here, but no, I didn't. But yeah, that was warped. Let's see. There we go. And that's what three quarter inch. Maybe I can come back for this. It's just gonna take up room at my place. Yeah, I can't, I'm not taking it now with all the garage doors in the back, but I guess I could keep it in mind. Yeah, I just wanted to see if there was any more light fixtures underneath, but yeah, it is kind of a shame. All right, I don't see too much else. All this stuff I threw here already, and those bars, they must have just tossed them far out. That's just hose, that is not wire. All right, that is it. So this is what I got last night. I'm only going to unload it. I'm not gonna break everything down today. I will separate it out and show you at least what I got. And I wanna have this empty because I might go back for all that plywood if it's still there late tonight because there are things that I can actually build with it because it's all the same length and size. Uh, it might actually be useful for some ideas that I have. So this is what it looks like so this mess goes all the way back i've got some more stuff in the cab like i said i'll pull it out i'll show you you know how many of these types of things i have now again uh, i'll show you the condition of these types of things and just kind of go through it separate it to a certain degree and then take it all back to my scrap area to micro scrap at a later time Okay, so I've been at this for about half an hour and I haven't even hardly made a dent. So I just wanna kind of show you the boxes that I'm going through, the types of stuff that I'm finding. A lot of it is just mounts. Some of it is aluminum housings, like those over there. This is aluminum breakage. It's all riveted to steel and this is just so light, it's not worth taking that off to get the few extra cents. And then, you know, things like aluminum cages, uh, fan brackets, that I haven't been through yet. And then like this box here, just, you know, a lot of miscellaneous electrical bits that are gonna end up being shred steel. I am taking a magnet to it, uh, a lot of wire. So, so far I've got, you know, a few pounds of wire, 
some shred material and then I'm going to start pulling out the full lights here. I'm breaking stuff down a little bit more than I thought I would just because it's going to be so much easier in the future. And then in here I'm starting a shred pile of lighter stuff and that whole thing's going to go on the truck when I go to the shred yard along with the buckets that I have. But you know stuff like this will be you know and separating out the paper and recyclable type stuff but this will be aluminum here um so yeah so that you know i'm just keeping my piles going around and then another one of these lights so this thing here as i showed in another video this is all aluminum extrusion this is aluminum brackets only this part is steel some of the hardware is stainless steel and then i've got the wire in there and even this part here is aluminum cast along with the nuts there so that's a good amount of weight there and i mean just that there is a couple of dollars alone when i break that down i've already got about five or six of those and now i've got you know four or five more there's two more right there so yeah this is kind of what i'm going through stuff like this is aluminum breakage because i tried getting this ring off but i think it's somewhat riveted or swedged on there i even tried bending it and i can't get that steel off and for the weight of the aluminum it's worth getting 19 cents a pound versus 35 for the straight aluminum plate so that goes in with aluminum breakage and i'm coming up with a ton of nice wire uh, just this one thing here that's over a pound of wire and this is ranging from number one to to lower grade quality wire but at minimum i get a dollar fifty a pound for that so right here in my hand is a dollar fifty and uh yeah just a lot more to do i've got this whole box yet that box from a garage door dumpster i didn't film so yeah it's it's gonna be uh just to get to the point where i want to get to it i'm gonna be here at least a couple of hours but it's worth it in the end i'll tell you what i estimate this all being worth in the end as well but uh, let me get back at it i just kind of wanted to show you what i'm dealing with okay so i've gotten to the point where i'm just going to start putting stuff away it's starting to get late in the evening and i want to get inside and just enjoy myself so all this still needs to be sorted through a ton of wire aluminum breakage and just miscellaneous other things like what i found in the harbor freight dumpster which were a couple of clamps a pair of gloves that's brand new and just other things in there there's definitely value in there um just looking at it that's easily 30 dollars sitting there before i even really get into it over here you've got aluminum plate and that's just in all the housing this is aluminum breakage probably about uh, 10 pounds of that a few pounds of aluminum cast there and plate and then down here that housing for that light is actually about eight pounds of cast aluminum alone right there some breakage these things here i'll talk about in a minute they're nice aluminum uh, further stuff that i've got to break down each one of these i think i mentioned it earlier but has a few pounds of aluminum extrusion at, at 72 cents a pound that is at least 35 pounds of wire so at a dollar 50 a pound that's definitely going to add up and it's actually going to be worth more because a lot of that is worth more than a dollar 50 but that's just the minimum that i get this is all shred material this is all shred material a lot of the light fixtures i'll talk about those in a second as well and then all the trash and recyclable cardboard that i'll you know go ahead and spend the time putting in the proper bins so as far as this stuff goes i am going to answer a few of your questions because i'm horrible at answering them on youtube i know that and i apologize but i do read them so the ones that i remember i'll go ahead and answer those while i'm going through this and there's nooner so he just got fixed so he won't be having any offspring we had him inside last night in one of the bathrooms to make sure he was okay and we're going to keep an eye on him he should stay in the cone of shame a lot longer since his operation was just recently but we'll just make sure he's doing okay and uh that was not cheap to get that done there are places that will fix strays for free and test them but they were months and months out and since he's around our other cats we wanted to make sure he was okay and he is sticking around so i went ahead and paid that bill that was uh it's going to be a lot of dumpster diving to be honest <laughs> but he does seem to like it here he hasn't run away yet after we did what we did to him so hopefully he will be our outside cat for the long term and he, we found out he's only about a year old okay so back to this stuff so this here is about 18 pounds and it's almost all cast aluminum 
all this stuff in here is plate aluminum. The outside is cast. The only part that is that's uh, magnetic is the plate there and some of the hardware. So I'm gonna get a good 17 pounds of, 16 pounds maybe of cast and plate aluminum out of this. So 50 to 70 something cents a pound and I've got three of them. It's a really nice unit and I'm sure these were not cheap, but they did appear to be used I don't want to try reselling them. I just don't want to deal with that kind of stuff. So that's what those are. And that's going to end up being a, a little bit of money there. So I like that. So a lot of them ended up being pretty scraped or rusty on the back. Uh, this one here you can see has been used. So all I'm doing is cutting off the copper ground and the rest is going into shred. Now somebody con you know, actually made a comment about this maybe being tinned copper. Now, from what I can tell on this, I don't really see a tinge of copper on this. It could be aluminum, it could be copper tint. However, my yard will not care. I think I get less than shred price for that stuff. Uh, I've separated this stuff out before and they, they get so much garbage there and they get so much different stuff. They're not gonna spend time to figure out if this is aluminum or copper tinned and for that reason, it all goes in to shred. I just, I don't want it contaminating what could be valuable stuff. And I don't want to take the time to separate it to find out they're going to give me five cents a pound for it. And that stuff takes a lot to add up to a pound even. So for that reason, I just, it, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. It goes in there. And I threw this whole thing in there because the entire thing is magnetic. Nothing is aluminum on this. So for that reason, all those went in there with the exception of these. Now, a lot of these are scratched up. Maybe I scratched them when I was handling them. But I know there's a lot of people that have apartments out there. They don't care about a blemish stuff. And I'm not really talking about slum slum lords, but you know, things where a scratch here, a scratch there is gonna make a big deal for renting out a house or an apartment. So I think I've got five or six of them here. I'll probably just throw 20 or $30 on it and just say, take the whole thing. I'm not gonna sell them individually. I'll get more than the scrap price. I'll feel a little bit better about repurposing that. But those were the only ones that I felt that I could salvage. There were a couple of others that I had that just didn't look good enough to deal with. And then there are the things that I just think are cool, might not have any value to it, but this is from Ambiance Lighting. And it's just a globe. I don't like selling glass globes, but I mean, this thing is cool. Look at that. Looks like a bowling ball. And it's, uh, it looks to be in, in great condition. I actually did open the box new. It had a couple of dings in it, but everything appears to be okay. So I'll sell that for a few bucks just because it is a unique, cool item. If it doesn't sell easily though, it is gonna get trashed. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. So it all depends on what is worth my sanity and what is not. And there's a fine line there for certain things that I do that people do not like that I do them. And you know, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know. But certain things like that aluminum wiring, there's a line between dealing with stuff like that and keeping my mental sanity to continue doing this. So if I start doing a lot of stuff that I hate or ends up being a pain, then I'm gonna stop doing this like that there. That was not worth my sanity. That I found in a dumpster I did not film. And just to deal with that mess uh, coming out of the dumpster, going into the truck and then off the truck, uh, it's just for the weight of the three pounds of metal that's there, I probably should have just left it. So that's the reason I do certain things that maybe people don't like, or, you know, that I should be doing that you think I shouldn't be doing or whatever, you know what I mean? So anyway, just a little bit about that. And the rest of this is all coming off the truck because I do kind of want to get that plywood if I get a chance, if that dumpster hasn't been emptied. Because uh, now the more that I think about it, the more I think I want to use that plywood for something. And then the round uh, garage door uh, roller covers that were up here, those were about 60 pounds together. I carried them to the back. I think I can flatten them out and maybe use them as a tin roof on the... Um, storage thing that I'm going to build. But that's what the rest looks like in there. I still need to clean all that up. Sorry this was so long-winded. I just wanted to give a few explanations about stuff and you can see the kind of mess that comes out of this and I'm not even done yet and I've still got that to take care of. I've still got that to go through and then all this stuff has to go back to my scrap area or into the trash or into recycling. Some days it's a lot of work. Today was one of the worst finding all these light fixtures. I usually don't have to spend that much time on this stuff but sometimes this is the outcome. So I think all together, 
I will probably get, I'm, I'm guessing at least $200 out of this uh, when I break everything down. But into that goes about like three, or just over three hours yesterday dumpster diving and at least four hours doing this uh, by the time all said and done. So, and then I still got to take it all to the scrap yard and I still got to sort out the non-ferrous stuff and take that into the separate scrap yard. So it is a good amount of money at the end of the day and I'm happy when I get the cash or the check, but it is a lot of work to get there. So anyway, sorry for being so long-winded. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it and I'll talk to you later.